Let's talk about longissimus dorsi. This is often described as the muscle on which we sit, which I think can be a little bit misleading because it leads you to think it's literally just in this area, but that's not true. It truly is a long muscle. Longissimus dorsi, a large gymnastic muscle, fills this area on top of the ribs and at the side of the spinous processes in this thoracic region, but it carries on underneath the shoulder blade, carries on and attaches onto the transverse processes in the cervical region as well, actually as far forward as the fourth cervical vertebrae. So this area is in the neck as well as in the back. And there's even connections in the form of longissimus capitis and longissimus atlantis, which goes to the head and to the atlas. And that's not all. The true main part of longissimus dorsi, as well as being in the neck, the thoracic region, carries on underneath the gluteal tongue that you can see I've got painted on here. Underneath this, gets smaller, goes underneath the pelvis, carries on and connects into the tail. So longissimus dorsi truly is a long muscle with incredible connections. Next time you're sitting on your horse, don't just think about this muscle being in this area, but really truly affecting the whole of the spine.